That's it. Right. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is Sheets, and I have uh, once again uh, Michael Jensen, aka Brave Jayhawk. There was some uh, possible variance uh, as far as the recording of this uh, podcast this week, which I, I had to overcome. But uh, all good news. My uh, my mom had some had some issues that had we had to work through, and uh, it all worked out in the end. And we're ready to handle kind of a recap for this past week and uh, coming into this week. And as usual, just again, uh, just to let everybody know. Um, we don't talk about any of this beforehand, which I think makes for a much cleaner approach. Um, we're going to be looking at survivor grid. We're going to be looking at uh, true DFS's EV grid. We're going to continue to go over the fundamentals, but as things progress along throughout the course of the season, we're going to start dispensing with it a little bit and just kind of get right to it and refer you back to the, to the old one. So first of all, I guess I'll start with, uh, with, with the summary from last week, and then you can go on and say how you did. So, oh. Um, first of all, as, as uh, I got all kinds of messages from people thanking us for whatever, for giving them Cleveland. Um, and I hope everybody played them. And I hope I wish we were both, both on that again. It, it speaks to the fact that neither that we didn't talk about it beforehand. We both came up with Cleveland is clearly the best play. And, and, you know, listen, they had anxious moments, but you know, this is survivor. This is football. Everybody has anxious moments. And they ended up being, um, they ended up taking, taking it down and, and, Throughout the and the weekend had some interesting sweats. Um, you know, Minnesota almost went down. KC did go down. Um, so for I'm gonna talk about me personally, and then I want to talk about the the pools in general. So so I and Circa we went actually three different routes. Just uh, as you as you know, working with a partner sometimes can be challenging. Um, yeah. So we had a couple of different paths. I did go Cleveland, um, but also we took a couple of of, of chalkier. Uh, teams to set up different 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 routes i think it was yep. probably a pretty bad way to play but we did it anyway um and we and we got one of them got through with minnesota um uh but you know i i, I didn't like it but we did it anyway and one of them got through with uh boy i don't remember it was such a bad play uh oh uh cincinnati so we got through with that as well so we got through well, with let, let, let me interject quickly because i know i talked about this last week that i love cleveland if you only have one pick, go Cleveland. But yeah. if you have multiple entries across the same pool or different pools yep. and you don't want to go all in, you need to bring in other teams. Yep. Did you not like them because you were forced into it or did you want to go did you want to go all in Cleveland or did you want to go a different direction? I wanted to go I wanted to go a little more Cleveland, but that's okay. Um yeah. so 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 and then in, in my in my pools with the with the doubles, triples I pushed down the future. I did the same thing. I always, I just went all future value nonsense, and I got a couple of ridiculous ones through. I got a couple. I got a, a couple of Atlantas through. You know, I got a couple of uh, got a couple of Chicago's through. Just all kinds of all kinds of nonsense. I had I had a couple of Giants going on Monday night, which kind of annoyed me. That didn't that didn't work out for that pool, but that's okay. Um, so I'm still. And the reason for that is because I didn't really want to play them in ten and doubles when they'd be popular. So I figured I'd get rid of them now. Anyway. Yep. So I've still got, got a couple of those in there, but that that whole thing's kind of a crapshoot. The interesting one, I got to talk this, not talk it out, whatever. So I didn't expect to be such a freaking sweat, but in this freaking nitrogen pool with like the equivalent of like $80,000 for first, we're down to like seven people. Okay? That's incredible. From well, 100? That's amazing. Yeah, so, so this is, so, but this is what happened, okay? So what happened was, and this is, this is kind of cruel, sort of, but, so let me talk to you about what happened with every what happened to the Chargers last week. So the Chargers were a seven point favorite most of the week, and then the the line moved to three instantly on the rumor that Herbert was going to be ruled out. Okay, so I, I was kind of annoyed. I, I didn't want to play them anyway, so I was kind of hoping that it would be seven and people would play the Chargers. They'd be really popular, but in our pools that that, that lock at Saturday, there was nobody that was going to play the Chargers. That just wasn't in the cards. But like on the nitrogen, like there were some, I guess, semi-sharp or whatever it is, they realized they could play that all the way up until the end. They waited until until he got ruled in when no one was playing. Everybody burned all their picks. Nobody could play them. And so they played, I think it was a pretty good play to play the Chargers, and they lost. <laughs> so, so, so there was a couple of those that went down. So I'm done. I'm what, 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 was their what was their backup option? Um, if oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what they did. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about in, in the nitrogen. I didn't know what they picked. You know, I know they ended well, up with the Chargers, but they they could have. What, what my backup? I mean, they, they were allowed to make their pick prior to that kickoff, right? So I don't know what they did. Just... Yeah, I don't know what they did. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they did. So 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 I uh so that's down to seven. And what's cool about that? We'll talk about it specifically. Like 
I don't want to talk people down or whatever, but they're, the people that are in there made, there's some awful picks, you know? <laughs> so, so it's not exactly as sharp as I remember that, that pool being. So I have to approach that in a weird way, but we'll talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's, and then, then my other single picks pools, I got, I got, and I played, it was like so stupid. Why didn't I even do this? But on my nine, there were nine people left in that thing going into yesterday. And, and I somehow decided I was going to be uber aggressive and take Chicago. <laughs> I didn't need to, you know what I mean? But, but I did it anyway and they got through. So now I got my, now I got a freaking feel like I have a stranglehold for some reason. Anyway, so that, that's when, that's where I'm at. How did you do last week? And, and, and uh, what are your observations from last week in general? Uh, so I, I, I flew out of town last uh, Thursday, so I, I got to miss the first half um, of the Thursday night game. But turn my phone on, and my partner assured me we're down one, but they're going to win by double digits. And sure enough, they did. Um, I caught I caught the end of the game. It wasn't pretty, but Pittsburgh was terrible. Um, went went heaviest on Cleveland as mentioned last week, um, and I'm I don't have my notes from from last week's podcast, but. I think my second, third favorite picks were Cincinnati or Minnesota. I can't yeah. remember the order. Yeah. Um, I, in the end, I let my partner decide. And then whatever he picked, I, I favored that team for my individual picks. Because I, I, I always just like a team to fade. So he picked uh, – he, he, he liked Cincinnati over Minnesota. So I ended up putting Cincinnati in all my pools. Won that one nice, nice and easily. And then got uh, – well, got teased in the Minnesota game. But – that's you know that, that's going to happen yep. weekly, and uh, for my double picks, I went actually I went very very conservative. Um, I'd mentioned a lot of uh, the teams that you mentioned earlier for as really good out there picks for uh, pools with lots of double pick weeks, yeah. but I luckily I didn't take them because yeah I would have taken Seattle. And I had Giants, some of that. I had some of that. <laughs> but I, I only took one. I took, I'm looking at right now. I took Chicago for yeah. three entries. That's it. I so saw, I took Cleveland, okay. Cincinnati and three Chicago's and okay. I, I got through everything. Nice. Um, nice. I got, and that's just luck. Cause I, I like the other ones. I just, I, I think I just picked one cause Chicago ended up separating themselves a little bit uh, point spread money line. And I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go the conservative route and, and gamble harder in the double pick weeks, which is, is you can pick up a lot more EV there. I'm sure I could pick up more of you getting into there, but sometimes I, I'm going to choose a slightly conservative route and it works so, out. So, so, so a very interesting thing happened as we go into this week. So again, what I did was I rate, ra I, I, first, I ranked everything by, by EV according to average on, on survivor pool grid. That's how you, they determine you know, the EV is by a combination of win percentage and as a function of popularity. And the popularity is coming from the average here. If you go between the different sources, you'll get different percentages and the circuit pool will be different still. And, and that's a, it's a pretty important point is to make sure, again, that for your pools, you have some degree of, of ability to, to, to augment that. And so, again, I refer you back to my uh, the, to the 2DFS uh, EV calculator where you can actually screw around with the uh, with the pick with the pick percentages. Um, one thing that as we get into this week, then we'll go through again, like we'll rank by EV and we'll go through pick by pick until we just kind of get bored. Um, is, is that one thing again that's it, that, that injuries can do, it can just really just like shake up the whole slate and the whole the whole plan. And 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 Mac Jones going down just just really just just did a couple of, of nasty things. Like the first thing it did was it created like a Green Bay. Well, well, you call it a free square, but let's just say they, they created a Green Bay situation where where they're going to be really favored this week. Or we'll talk to you about that, what, what the impact of that is in a minute. But the other thing it did, which is a little bit annoying, okay, from me being some, us being such geniuses and burning Cleveland, is now the people didn't burn Cleveland might have a shot to play them against freaking a, a, new, a no QB New England in, in week six. You know, like that we that I wasn't kind of anticipating. Um, so yeah, and it's funny. I think last week I mentioned if you're not going to take Cleveland next right. week and being this week, you should really, even though that that seems like an out there pick, right. you should really consider taking them in week three. Right. And one thing changes, and now they're picking six. Right. It's like annoying, right? But uh, anyway, let's let let's go through it. And for now, I'm going to keep um. Uh, just so that we don't forget to play to, to get to them. I kept Green Bay at 43% here so that we'll we'll get to them. Okay. 
Um, but let's just let's just start, and and I guess we'll just we'll just we'll just swap. I'll, I'll go first, and you you take the next team. Yeah. So 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 first, I'll start with Philadelphia. So Philadelphia, um, I have to talk this through. I, I don't want to talk too much about my own polls, but this one I kind of have to. Um, so first of all, Philly, I think is you know obviously a high AV team. There's a couple of them out here. And they are what my partner likes to call. Uh, they're like a, they're like a floater. In other words, they, they are they are usable like like many different weeks. Okay, like they're they're gonna you could they they're gonna get ownership. They're gonna be floating out there. You could play them in other weeks. So they definitely have future value. I feel as though the the for me at least the the team the place I'm gonna want to use in the most is probably eight because eight is just kind of like kind of a shit show. Um, some kind of like do dance between six and eight. If we'll, we'll get back to six in a second, but then there's eight. And then if you want to save Philly, maybe you, if you could get through eight, then there's a nine, even and a 10, there's like all kinds of stuff. And God forbid you get really lucky and you could have them at 18. You know what I mean? Like, but my yeah. point is that the Philly is, is very savable. So I'm inclined to try to save them. The only thing I want, and so I'm going to talk this through. Uh, and again, I can't tell people exactly what I'm going to take, but Philly to me in my freaking, this is the way you have to think about things in, in this nitro pool to me is very viable. And, and the reason why is believe it or not of the six remaining people next aside from me, three of them already burned Philly. Okay. Like I oh, yeah. can't imagine where or when, but they did. Okay. Like some in one, some in like this past week, I, I God knows. Right. So I'm not fighting any like, high popularity as a matter of fact i'm i fully believe that 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 every one of the people in this pool is going to take since green bay i really do i think that all six of them are going to take green bay i don't think anybody's going to play philly and and for me in that one particular pool i might just eat that and play philly and say listen why am i playing chicago why am i being so so freaking fancy in a pool that that people are trying to lose you know i, I don't mean i don't listen I, i'm going to play philly there I'll just hold, hold Green Bay. I'll slam them when nobody has them left in six. And I'm telling you, they're all going to play them. Now. They just are. I don't know. I, I, I agree. I, you want to be ahead of the inflection point, but when you're ahead of it, you're just guessing. Yeah. Even in a larger buy-in pool like that, earlier, even early in the season, aggressive players can become very conservative players yeah. really quick, right? On, yeah. you know, turn on a dime. Yeah. Um, and now that you have the information, I I, I think it's a, you know, clearly yeah. that's that's the right way to, but, way but, to go. But in general, in general, I I I I um and this 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 week give us to give it, give it a summary. This is a this is a good battle this week between EV and, and future value. I think it really is. Uh, I think Philly. Great, yeah, great week. Um, I think my, my partner was Philly's here for forty five minutes. Yeah, I think Philly's definitely. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, we, yeah, my partner was over here for forty five minutes prior uh, to this recording. Fantastic week. There, there, there's a there's a lot going on. When you sort by EV, there are, I mean, there's a lot of teams over one one and a lot of them are, you know, are, aren't teams that you would you know suspect to be good EV picks. A lot of three point favorites that you would never even consider. Um, but Philadelphia is a good place to start. I, I put them in my my fade save category. Yeah. Um, I, I mentioned last week. If anything, save them for eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. Um, you know, you can use them interchangeably in those weeks. Um, it, it's not going to be forced. It's going to be a, a much higher EV pick with more separation and a high, higher win percentage, uh, re, you know, relative to, you know, the current week being minus six and a half against Jacksonville. So the fade save for me for Philadelphia. Um, all right. You want to take, take Cincinnati? A star with Cincinnati? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Cincinnati is actually my favorite play of the week. Um, yeah, I, I'm very, very surprised that uh, coming to that, um, it, it took a lot to get there. I, I mentioned last week having, whether you have a partner or, or, or group chat or, you know, listening to other people's opinions, like listen to this podcast, it's, it's good to bounce ideas off of other people and hear other viewpoints. Because I don't think I, I, I wouldn't necessarily saw this on my own until my partner came over and mentioned what about this game tomorrow night? Um, the EV. Well, I, okay, well, I guess we can. Okay, well, well, I get if you're sorting by EV, it's the highest EV. Um, no one's picking this game. Uh, you know, I, I don't even care what the percentage. It says like 1.8 percent on uh, for office football pool. That's what I've sorted by. 
no one's picking this game. Um, going over all the, 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 the fishy ways that, you know, people are, are picking um, or, 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 or stereotyping people for how they're picking. Some people don't even think about picking the Thursday game. They don't like picking against a, a you know, a, a so-called really good team. Um, it, it, there's a lot of other good options. Cincinnati, they don't have a lot of good plays left. And th- this is where I plan ahead, but each week I'm willing to change my opinion, not just on one team, but my entire map. And this is something I did not see at all last week. But now it, it, it feels very clear to me, at least, that there's enough. There's a couple other teams I like, but if I'm if I'm take if I'm in one pool only with one pick, I'm taking Cincinnati this week. They're going to be less than one percent there. Yeah. So so my partner and I spent. Um, let's let's say if we spent. Uh, I'll pick a conservative. Let's say we spent four hours talking about this week. I, mm. I, I I'll say probably two hours were spent on Cincinnati uh, on the Cincinnati yeah. play. Um, cause I, I'm sort of like you, it's like a first, and it's so funny because when I first said, you know, it's, it's no big deal. We'll do the podcast Friday. We don't mind assume Thursday. I know. And I, I, I said the like, thing to my partner. And then I look at him like, wait a minute. <laughs> and, 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 and again, I'm, I'm not so far focused on Circa, right. But I start focusing on Circa and I'm like, okay, first of all, no one's playing Cincinnati Circa because, because uh, for, for, for a lot of other reasons. Okay. But I'm, I keep going back to seven and nine, right. I keep coming back to. Do I need Cincinnati in seven and nine, right? And, and that's always the push and pull because if you can get away with, with without playing Cincinnati in seven and nine, then you're getting just it, it's sick EV play right now, okay? Yeah. And and, and that's the, you know and there it is. There's the balance between EV and, and, and future value. So it's going to depend on what you guys have available. Like if you if, if there people are out there that burn Denver, you know you might have you might have problems. You know. Yeah, that, um, that's where it changes. I. We would have felt differently based on our mapping if we had less choices, but we found minimum two viable plays for yeah. our strategy in yeah. each of those weeks. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that has been, we don't need to have Cincinnati there. Yeah. We're just going to hope it works out to where we can pick one of those two, three or four other teams and we'll just lay the hammer down right now in Cincinnati and, and hope it works out. So here's another question. For you. Now, again, this is, it, it turned out to be a, uh, this is an interesting thing for people to think about. It turns out to be not a factor because he's going to play, but but there was there was um there's speculation that Tua might might sit right. So 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 if Tua they announced that he was going to sit and 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 the price moved to five or whatever it is, would you be more inclined to play Cincinnati or less? You know what I mean? Like would the would the ownership catch up to the to to the uh, to the to the win to the winning odds in, in in a big enough way to get you off? It turns out to be mostly rhetorical because now. I mean, he's I'm pretty sure he's going to play or whatever. But these are the things I kind of think about. Like, do you want the spread? Do you want the spread to go up? Like, do you want their winning chance to go up? Really? You know, well, if- I definitely. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, that's a good question. I do, I definitely do not want it to go up. Right. Um, but I also know when it, when when you're comparing one quarterback to the other, there's like a hundred percent chance Joe Burrow is playing this game. Right. And there is something less than a one hundred percent chance of Tua seeing the second quarter. Uh, right. I, I, Right. I don't care what these I, th- these all, all these all these teams do is lie, and they did it. They did it with Andrew Luck. They did. Uh, they did it with Drew Brees. Um, all they do is lie. Um, the, the guy was concussed on on Sunday. He yeah. somehow played in the game anyway. Uh, there is a non-zero percent chance that he's not seeing the second quarter of that game. And if oh. if that is the case, the spread would be higher. Yeah. I don't even care if he plays the whole game. You know? Not, not I, only that, I, I, I th- that, that's just extra credit to me. Not only that, but again, for the all the PR stuff that's come out against against Miami for for not for not sitting him after the concussion stuff. Like if he gets a freaking hangnail, in like in like the in like the first quarter, they might have to they might have to sit him. Um, so yeah, again, I so I so uh, yeah, I'm kind of I, I'm still non-committal on the Cincinnati pit, but it's certainly a hell of a lot better than it was for me because I originally was like, you know, what, I need him for seven, you know, whatever it is, I need him for nine, and they're just better plays, and I got so bogged down in these other plays we're going to get to that uh, that uh, well, we'll talk about those in a second. So I'll start I'll start with the Chargers. So the Chargers again. This was it was pretty cruel, man. I mean, what happened to the Charger backers last week? Those that did it, and I'll tell you what happened. I got really, really lucky, but then unlucky. So when the, when the Chargers went to three, what happened in the circa millions pool was kind of ridiculous. So it, it went yeah. to three, 
and and it would already lock in at seven. And people had to get their circum their circum millions picks in. This is against the spread by Saturday. So this is created an interesting situation. Like, do you eat what's going to be obviously like eighty percent chalk with Jacksonville plus seven, right? When the actual line is three, or do you fade it or whatever? And I and I spoke with a couple of people about this, and somebody I spoke to for better or worse told me you're you're, you're just supposed to eat that chalk because there's not enough not enough picks in the pool to get it back. Whatever. In any case, what I did do is I bet, because I, I didn't, wasn't convinced that Herbert was out, so I actually bet like a decent amount on the Chargers minus three with the intention of, you know, worst case, I have a kind of a shitty bet, but best case, it goes to seven, I can take a 20. Yeah, good upside. Mm -hmm. I can take a 20 to one middle is what I'm saying also. I was going to do that, right? So so it went back to seven, then I'm like, oh, so I could, well, why do I want to take the middle? I'll just take my, keep my line value and be done with it. And, yeah. uh, and I lost. Anyway, um, so the Chargers this week, I, I struggled with them and I continue to struggle with them in a similar way to Cincinnati. Um, more to the, more in the circuit of pool than anything else. Cause chargers um, are, are more savable or in, in, in circa than in some other places because of, because of Christmas. Right. Um, so their EV, I mean, their, 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 their percent owned is lower than, than, than 10%, I believe. But, um, so that, that's why I was I was a little interested in them, and it's the same type of thing. Like if if you use them if you use them now, it's the same thing. You get through seven, you get through nine. But the thing about the Chargers that makes me want to save them is actually like I can even push them to fifteen and be kind of happy. You know what I mean? Like if I still have them alive there. So for me, the Chargers do do show up as kind of a fringy a fringy play, but I probably in the end just not going to do it. We actually didn't talk that much about the Chargers. Uh, what we did, and when we, and again, when we talk about the circuit pool, we're talking about a pool that has standalone slates for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, it's similar to if you have a pool with double picks, you should have this line of thinking as well, that you might need to have additional teams available for those latter weeks and, you know, quote, save those teams. Um, the, the, the Chargers – are a tough one. Um, the, the, re the reason we kind of skimmed over them by picking Cincinnati, yep. that's how we eliminated yep. the Chargers as a pick. Because yeah, I, I agree with that. And, 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 and that's as a – so when I did my rankings here, I, 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 I like the Chargers or Cincinnati interchangeably as my favorite pick of the week, even though I, I don't have that written here. Because we just I, we just like Cincinnati so much that that this forces us not to take the Chargers because we need to have more Chargers available for seven and nine because those are Cincinnati's other best weeks. So if we were to take um, Cincinnati, I'm, no, I'm talking about pools with multiple entries. We're not going to take Cincinnati and the Chargers because you need more. we have less picks available in those other right. weeks right. um so I, I actually like the chargers this week a lot because there, there, there's plenty of picks for seven and nine and, and that's the foreseeable future but as as a tiebreaker you know they, they do have some you know good potential on the back end not considering you know double pick weeks or you know standalone sl slate weeks I, I like the chargers this week i will not be taking them because i'm taking cincinnati but if we were not taking cincinnati we i i would be taking the chargers instead Okay, so I thought about how to handle this, and I think I, I think I am going to do it the way I'm going to I'm going to do it. What I would like to do is I would like to take the next three teams all together, and not the next three on the list. I want to take the following three teams all together. <laughs> oh, I, I have this are, written down. Too. I, I have this written down too because I think they're the same. Okay, um, the same type of thing. So I want to talk about the Giants, the Lions, and the Steelers, like all in the same discussion. Okay, because for those of you that have been following along. What they all have in common is the same thing. They have they have marginal win win equity this week. Okay, they have varying degrees of EV this week. Although it again, depends on the pool a little bit, um, and they all have next to zero future value. Okay, um, and this is this is this is the battleground for me. Like the battleground is 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 do I do I go with these three any of these three teams? If so, which one do I do? You know what I mean? And and yep. what percentage of the portfolio do I do, do I do with? Now, when I, I I'll tell you when when I when we first were coming into this week, 
okay, especially in Circa, in my in my head, I thought the Lions were going to be forty percent owned, all right, in in Circa. I really did. And this, listen, this is before the Packers. You know what I mean? This is before Matt yeah. Jones' injury. I thought that they were going to be literally forty percent owned. And then then this then the following things happened. Okay, first of all, um, uh, the, the the Packers became a free square. Okay, let's call it this, right? If, if people want people wanted to do it, right? They became a free square. And even though people, you know, can make the case of saving Green Bay for 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 Christmas, Green Bay just becomes in play. And we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. And the other thing that happened, or unfortunately, or fortunately, however we want to look at it, is that Swift is probably going to be out. Uh, and Amon St. Brown is is I think trending towards out. And and oh uh, wow. Yeah. And that's why the spread of this is gone from what was an advanced line of six, six and a half to a very cold four. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why it went down so much. Yeah. I, we didn't look it up. I don't yeah, know. yeah, uh, and, and so, so what that has then done. All right. So, so, so then you have. But again, I talked about this in in terms of the of the uh, of the uh, of the, uh, the 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 Bengals play. Like, like I, I feel as though that whatever happens, to the line is just going to get reflected in in the ownership. You know what I mean? Like, I think. Yeah. And and so. I don't see any real difference between the Giants, the, the the Steelers, and the Lions, except just to figure out which one's going to be the best EV because they all have zero value. Now, I, when I'm staring at this right now, it shows on my board Giants highest EV barely <laughs> like, over the Lions, but the Lions are going to be more popular than 10%. And then you got Pittsburgh, I, and and so I honestly don't know how to separate the, these three. I don't, to be honest, I don't think I have it in me, in the circa. And this is my bias. I, I know it to take the Giants. I don't think I have it in me. I don't think I can do it. Um, uh, so I think I would rank them. And again, this you're not supposed to do this, right? Rule one: don't let your freaking biases overcome your overcome Vegas or, or whatever it is. I, I just kind of assume just take Detroit or Pittsburgh, <laughs> even though the Giants are probably a little bit better EV. So, but, but I don't, I, think, I don't think that's fishy at all because the difference is so marginal Yeah, that when it's that close, I mean, I, I do that. I mean, when, when it's super close, there's no difference between picking one or the other, flipping a coin or just picking the team that you'd be mess, less mad at if they lost. And, and, and I've done that last one several times in the past as my, as my tiebreaker. Um, I have um, – so I had the, the same exact three teams. No one's going to believe it, but I had the same exact three teams. <laughs> um, I, had, I, I broke Pittsburgh equals New York Giants, and then I have Detroit below it. The only reason I have Detroit below it is it's very hard to overlook the current – pick percentage yep. of Detroit and that could go higher or lower based on what what players are are available if people get stuck in what the early lines are they you know they might get overpicked based on yep. uh, you know being higher favorited you know just even two days you know one or two days ago yep. um we have I have Pittsburgh written down as my favorite of the three um for Circa certainly for me, the tiebreakers are always. I want to pick the team that is not going to be in that is not in the standalone slates. Or if you're not, in, most of you aren't in circa. Yeah. If you have a pool with double pick weeks, I want to pick the team that is not available currently for those double pick weeks. Uh, for my the pools that I'm in per, for my purpose of my pools, Pittsburgh is the least likely of you know for me to pick for the circa pool and probably for my double picks as well. I just think I, I'm pretty sure I'm doing a quick scan here. Yeah. Pittsburgh for my double picks on the road, on the road, on the road lo versus Las Vegas and uh, versus Tampa Bay. So I definitely like Pittsburgh the most of those, of those three. Um, yeah. I, and I wouldn't even care if, if there were less EV than the others. And I knew it. I, I'd rather have more teams available when it's really close. And the other thing you got to have to watch is, 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 and again, this is something that's happened today. And this is going, I'm telling you, I, I think, I think the, the I think Pittsburgh is going to get dropped a little more. They, I think they're announcing Zach Wilson in for the jets. Um, 
And, you know, apparently, if you didn't realize this, he's the second coming of, of, of Joe Namath here. I mean, like, everyone's waiting for him to take everybody to the promised land, you know? So, so uh, that, that, that could end up, a, it's already a soft three and a half. It's like it's three and a half minus 105. Like, so that, that, could, that could drop a little more. But um, so it's interesting. I didn't even consider what you just said about the standalone thing with respect to Detroit. I keep forgetting that Detroit is on the, it's on the, is on the the standalone slate because everybody's like, oh yeah, we want to play against them. But like, listen, as you as you as you perfectly handled not this past year because you were up at the year before, you have no issues taking like a you know eighty percent leverage underdog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if if, if yeah. and, and who knows? Maybe Detroit's good by then. You know, whatever. Um, but even though not, I don't even care. Right, That's exactly. What referring to two two years ago in the circuit yeah. pool, uh, my partner did the pool, but. Uh, two, we had a couple people buy percentage, uh, some percentage points, and we let them act as tiebreaker on a couple of different weeks. And you know, I just didn't care. I said, we're taking the underdog. You guys pick. I want Detroit. You guys vote. And luckily for uh, all of us, they was all Detroit picked Washington. Or Was it Detroit or Washington? Yeah, I was the only one that wanted Detroit. Oh. And they all wanted Washington. We picked Washington. Detroit lost. Washington won. It worked out perfect. We ended up okay. losing later, but only okay. missed one game all year. But right. um I, lo- I I like Pittsburgh. You know, uh, you know, if, if you're going that deep, I like Pittsburgh because it, it, it's a little bit less likely you're going to take them than the other teams, whether you have standalone slates or double pick weeks. Um, but I guess they also have upside with when they have the inevitable QB uh, QB change. Right. You know, what yeah. if he ends up being seven points better than Mitch Trubisky? You know, these spreads will change. Um, I don't know the pit- but you can't the pit- if you're dipping the down here. Pittsburgh and like is actually going to be playable in like 13, which <laughs> when you got the Rams sitting there in your pocket, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like zero, right? I mean, like, and then I, sorry, what, 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 I was looking at Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm like trying to, to squint some way that Pittsburgh can be playable some other oh, time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. even at Atlanta, like even if they get better, I mean, like there's, you know, you're sitting there with the Rams at minus 13, but you've been saving the whole year. There's no way that you pitch your play. That's your no, play. Yeah. That, yeah. At, at Baltimore yeah. Um, versus Baltimore. Maybe versus- an 18 against Cleveland. If God forbid you get there, you know, it's like whatever, but you know, uh, figure it some other way. So yeah, I, um, it's interesting. I, I forgot that Detroit was on Thanksgiving, which is a good point. And the giants, they, they could be viable in 10 uh, if things work out their way um, against Houston. Um, and, and, and by analyzing it this way, uh, guys, one team we haven't mentioned that is similar. I assume they have to be very similar to EV, but you just can't take because of the things we're discussing for why we like these teams. You, you can't take Dallas. Dallas is a absolutely terrible pick this week. Um, they have way too much usability later in the season, w- whether Dak Prescott comes back or not. I mean, Dak could be up for the entire season. Dallas is still much more usable. They have more, they have more, more games than these other three teams combined. Um, and you just cannot take Dallas for, for any reason whatsoever. I mean, you can play Dallas. I mean, just, just even eyeballing it. I mean, obviously you could play him against on 12, you could play him in 14, you could play him in eight, which is, a, which is a ridiculous week, which we've discussed. Right. Um, so, so yeah, absolutely. But the, so, so I wasn't even barely going to discuss Dallas. I barely was going to discuss Buffalo. Right, because Buffalo is just yeah. you know, just a hammer everywhere else. But but let's 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 talk about Green Bay for a minute, okay? Oh yeah. Uh, so I, I guess the first question is like, how how bad of a play is it really? You know, so so each time I think and this is the way I look at it, right? Each time I think it's it's a it's not that bad, I then just like I just fast forward in my head to six. You know what I mean? Like like. I, I'm sitting here and I'm like, if I play Green Bay now, you know what you know what's happening to me? That means I'm playing Philly in six, almost definitely, right? Or Dal, uh, no, no, who's it? Philly in six. Uh, if listen, if you still have San Fran oh. available, which I don't, you know what yeah, I mean? Well, like, we, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, <laughs> right, right. Then then you can do that. Um, I I don't think I want to play Indianapolis in six. Um. If they're even going to be favored by then, um, I'd rather save them maybe for 18. Although Indianapolis becomes like maybe like the second best option, maybe if I own that Philly, you know, so 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 if I've already burned Green Bay um, in eight now, now, now. So so every time I think, you know, I'm just going to take the Green Bay free square 
It's not a big deal. The EV is not that bad. What am I doing here? Let's just the van. <coughs> How bad is it? I then just kind of just slap myself in the face and say, I'll, I'll figure out a way to get through this week. And then in six, if they're really going to be like hammered this week, I'm just going to have all kinds of freaking leverage on these people that I yeah. can just hammer them down. Now, Circa is kind of tricky for me because I really don't know how many how many people are going to play them. I, 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 I think they're actually going to be pretty freaking chalky, even though people want to save them for, for Christmas. I think people are looking at Christmas. And listen, Christmas is far away. Um, everything's a pick em. I'll figure out something else. And I just want the free square. So I think the Green Bay is actually going to be pretty damn chalky. But even if they're, but let's say they're only 25% owned, their EV is kind of indisputable, right? As, as being a strong EV play. But but to save them for six just seems, or, or maybe not even for six, whatever. But to 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 have to deal with six without Green Bay as an option seems see, just seems fishy. Yeah, so I I I, I flashed my my power rankings earlier. So it, it showed Cincinnati, Green Bay, then 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 Chargers, but really Chargers should have been backslash Cincinnati. Um, it, I wouldn't. I played contrarian with with Green Bay with my partner and and kind of talked myself into liking it. Yeah. Um, I. Yep. This is this is where it gets really tough. I hear um, it. I hear you. You, you know because. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of different variables. A, I don't want to, you know, do this podcast every week and be out of everything. Uh, you know, B, it's it's fun to, you know, still be in anyway and try to, you know, get to certain key weeks right. to be able to realize, you yeah. know, your EV there. But then again, if you just try to realize your EV each week, if you get there, then you're going to have even more EV to realize upon getting there, even though you're getting there less often. Um, Green Bay is really, really tricky. Uh, I I, uh, you know, for, for Circa last year, they were the highest picked team on Christmas and one player was one drive away from scooping the 6 million before Cleveland. What, what, I think the refs got them and then their, their play calling got them. So there's a little bit of bias there that, but they also didn't have the schedule like they do this year where they're going to be used in four, five, six, and then scattered out up until Christmas at the at, at current point spreads where maybe you should save them. But, you, you know, but for me, I'm using them in four or six. I, I, I'm not, I'm not using them. I'm just not going to use them anywhere else. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to save them in Circa. There's four, there's eight teams playing. I don't even care who I have. If I get there, right, right. I just don't care. If I have a choice, I'm going to pick the biggest underdog and then hope it works out. Right. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to use them in four or six, um, but six feels like an all-in smash. I, I think we're, you know, we, we feel pretty similarly about that. But if that means if I don't take Green Bay, that means I'm going to have to take – well, I can't go all-in on Cincinnati because I'm we're already almost using Cincinnati wherever we have them available. That means I'm going to, I'm going to have to – the only other option is – Pittsburgh or the Giants or or Detroit, which is fine, but I might get a little bit risk adverse, and I don't even care <laughs> right. if it's it, right. I don't even care if it's losing EV. You know, it it could end up working out to where this makes the most sense. You you, you have a diverse portfolio. Yeah. You need to create multiple paths, and yeah. I play contrarian with the Packers, thinking that they might be underpicked. I, I asked my partner. Yeah. If we knew what Green Bay's pick percentage was for yeah. Circa, at what point would we go all in? Yeah. He said, well, I, I asked him straight up. If it was 25, what, what would you, do? What do you have left? Did you do you Cleveland and all of them? No, you did Cleveland, Minnesota, and Cincinnati, right, or something? I did. I, I, well, we went two Cleveland, one Cincinnati. Okay, okay. So you still so have, we have three entries left yeah. out of our six. Um, but, you know, he said, you know, if, if we knew it was 25%, we would go all in on Green Bay, probably, you know. Um, so then it makes you think, okay, well, can it get that low could. because of the rules of the pool and the, you know, the, the so-called sharpness of the pool? It could, but um, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so either, but it, 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 it helps create the discussion. Yeah. The discussion helps create the strategy because each pool is, is unique yeah. in of itself, even pools with similar rules. I mean, I had a, I, I had, I had a pool last week it, with the five double picks. 
guess who the highest picked team was last week? Did people really take Minnesota? Kansas City. Oh, even worse, right? I mean, you know, they were like tied with somebody. It was like 22%. Um, each pool, folks, is is individual, even with the same rules. Um, yeah. You know, there's a certain you – know, the population of each pool is different from one another. If it's a local pool versus a national yeah. pool, if you're playing against a pool of mostly people from the Northeast, you know, everyone's going to – everyone's going to play a little bit different. And, and those variables need to play into your decision-making, especially when it comes to tiebreakers. If you know everyone's from New York in your pool, well, that, you know, that should wade into it. Are they, you know, are, are they tending to anti-sweat, you know, their teams? Right. Are they right. overpicking, or overpicking right. them? And, and that really comes in, you know, that really comes into play. I'm in a, I'm in a local pool with Kansas City folks. Um, and uh, it is it is definitely played into our we played that pool for eight years and it's definitely come into play in the past where Kansas not, not, not as much now but it, you know Mahomes' first couple seasons where they were vastly overpicked early in the season compared to other pools and 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 that has to weigh into your decisions when deciding between teams. Yep. Uh, but I I'm not gonna. Here's our answer. It's nice and fishy. It's it's it, it, it's it's a it's a very relatable strategy we're going to have this week, and I'm and I'm okay to admit it. We are making our picks based on how we do tomorrow. Um, yeah. if, if Cincinnati wins, we are going to be much more aggressive right. on Sunday, and yeah. we're not picking any Green Bay. Yeah. If Cincinnati loses, you'll try to get. We're going to get more. We're going to get more. Compl- we're going to get more complacent with. Try to get one in all of them, and I'm going to pick more Green Bay. That's just, I don't I don't care if it's right. I, um, I want to, cause also these are fun for me and the longer that I'm in it, the more, um, I can use my brain to try to, you know, map and strategize. It's just not the same when you're not in it. Um, and I want to be able to realize some equity, you know, I'll, I'll just convince myself whatever I'm giving up now by taking green Bay over Pittsburgh. If, if I, if I believe that, you know, there's more EV in taking Pittsburgh, I'll just, I'll just try to convince myself I can make it up later by sheer luck of the variables or by, you know, skill of the picking or a combination of both. Well, I, th- I think we handled most, most of the, of, of the hoodoo plays, but, but just, but again, only again, I, I'm going to share with you everything that I've even brought up with my partner this whole week, you know, even guys that we've kind of just like dismissed, but, but, but talking about other kind of like, kind of, kind of fun plays, if you guys, if, listen, there's really no reason to play any of this stuff. Okay. But if you're in double, triple pick pools, I'll just share what I was going through. I, I, almost made I, I almost made a case or we both we almost made a case for Vegas um with just the idea being that we just had other plans for seven you know that we thought that seven was going to be really really popular that they were going to be really popular and we just had other plans for seven and seeing that and then looking ahead I just didn't see any other time to really play them um so that 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 was kind of in in the mix, but I just I just prefer the the others. And the other one again didn't even make it through the first level of conversation with with my partner. He said no. But says a I said hey is Carolina that bad? You know and uh, and he's and and I, I didn't get through the second part of the conversation. But I, you know what they they're they're home in in week ten where there could be doubles. You know like I, they're, they're home. Oh, let's, let's, we, oh, 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 we should expand on this because I actually didn't even think about my my pool of double picks. Um, I think Caroline is a fantastic, I'm, I, I just wrote them down. I'm, I'm picking them for sure. in My double okay. picks l- later. Uh, be- some pools tend to be, I know one that I used to be in, they have double picks in five and 10. Yeah. I, I, I've yeah. heard of ones are five, 10, 15. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I would, I'm going to take Carolina now and hope that they're a five point favorite or more against Atlanta and just fade them in 10. I mean, yeah, I mean if right. I, again, if I'm not going to take them in 10 anyway, use them right. up front. And, and right. for the ones I'm in personally, um well the other are, team is the other team that's like that by the 16 way. they played they, they played 15 and 16 they played pittsburgh and detroit i mean you know by that time you know some people might be if they're if they're a three four point favorite there's people that will be forced onto them and they might be a very highly picked team oh, a team that you wouldn't pick anyway if the chance huh? if the chance of this brave or whatever this pool down made is, is making the 16 is zero so i'm not worried too much about that um, Wait, say it again. The, the chance of this double pick that once it starts in five and then then nine with five, you know, is, it gets to sixteen is almost zero. So or seven. Oh, is it? Every, oh, is it double pick every week? Starting nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm in one that so it starts in five. There's doubles, and then starting in nine till the end. Like, oh, okay. 
okay, yeah, I'm not, the Good one luck. I'm in is 6, 12, 13, 16, oh. 17. So, oh, okay. you know, for that, for that pool specifically, week six, week, week 16, they could be a very oh. popular pick in my yes. format. And, right. and if they're a popular pick, I should, you know, look, that's why it's good to look ahead right. on all these other teams because if right. I got to pick 23 winners to get through, Carolina is going to have much more value. They're 0.1% pick. That means everybody will have them available in, you know, in week 10 for sure if you have double picks. And if you don't have double picks till the end of the season, they'll be 100% available in week 16 there if, if your pool has double picks there that are 15. And people might be forced. I mean, I was at a pool once where uh, – there were like 30 something people left and six people had to take a six and a half point underdog. Yep. Yeah. That, that's the best day that available. Yeah. Um, well, let me, let me, so let, let me, let me try to summarize this way for, for, for this week. Okay. So, so like there weren't like, it just, there wasn't like an Uber fish play this week. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't like, like you definitely fading the Rams definitely doing this. I mean, we dismissed Dallas, I think, pretty easily. I don't think anybody's really going to play Dallas. I don't think people are going to say, oh, I would have played Dallas, but you should have should have told me not to play Dallas. Um, yeah, I'd say that would be the fishiest one. Yeah. That, that, they're not even that favorited. So, yeah, that's, I'd and, say that's and, the fishiest and, and, and Philadelphia's Philadelphia is a fine pick. Uh, and you you, you and can Buffalo, definitely take it. And, and Buffalo I wouldn't play. So, so, so oh, it, yeah, it's terrible. It really, unfortunately, and again, we, we are trying to do this to teach you guys, you know what I mean, to, to think for yourselves and to make your own picks, whatever it is. It really depends not not only on your pool, but on your risk tolerance and on your and on your portfolio, you know. And, and listen, you might think it's 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 too whatever. It's not perfect optimal. It's not perfect EV to do what do what uh Mike was talking about. But it, it makes you know. But but if if you if you're playing for big money and you have multiple entries, it's not the worst thing in the world to see how things pan out. You know, on the Thursday before. You know, choosing how much risk you want to take on on the Sunday. You know, it's, especially when it's just, there's no like clear answer. It really is just between these plays, just a matter of risk tolerance. Like, there's nobody that's going to tell me for sure that since that Cincinnati, for example, is a better play than Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's going to tell me that Philly is a better play or worse play than Detroit. You know. Um, it's just a matter of how much risk you want to take and what you're trying to accomplish. That, that's yeah, what you on a week like this. Yeah, that, that, the, the plan's the most important. We, 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 we both dismissed Philadelphia, but if we dismissed it because we have plans for them for 8, 9, 10. If you have other ideas or, or willing to take more risk there and increase your chances to get there and have a smaller chance then, Philadelphia is a fine pick. Um, I, I just ra I'd rather have a, a less chance of getting to a week with more EV once I get to that week going forward. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I gotta think of this night. It's either it's either gonna be Chalk Philly or or, or maybe Cincinnati. I, I want I want to, but I think Philly. I think I, I want, think I want to get through this week. I'm telling you, I'm telling the whole all six of them are just gonna take Green Bay. They just are, every one of them, and nobody's gonna have them. In, in six that's my that's my prediction so if that's the case i just want to get to six with the ability to play green bay so that that's that's I, I think i think that's what i'm doing there i think it's the only place i'm playing them across like all of my pools um but i i think that's what i'm gonna end up. i'm probably not supposed to say that it actually gives me an advantage of saying that you know what i mean like yeah especially if you especially if you lock, if you lock yeah. it in and you, and you, yeah. fort, you, and you can't have you taken the chargers in that i did not i did not um, that's an option. That's an option. It's too. definitely an option, but you know, that's uh, yeah. I like, um, I, I prefer that, but I, okay. you should definitely go Philadelphia or Chargers. Right now. All right. Um, listen, good, good luck to everybody out there. And um, uh, I re really appreciate the comments. Um, keep them coming and uh, that'll do it. Good luck, Mike. I'll see you next week. Hopefully. You too. See you next week. Bye-bye.